All right, good morning. <clears throat> I'm doing a little extra credit because I've been really slacking on these videos lately because I've been sick, sad, and just over it. Everything is on my nerves. <laughs> but um, I thought I'd give y'all a rambling report. I'm thinking about changing the name of rambling report to disgruntled diatribe because that's basically all I ever do. I sit around and be disgruntled and uh, critique. That's, that's just it. Anyway, I haven't... Uh, I'm going to put a little disclaimer and let you know that I have not read probably the majority of these stories. This is just going to be me skimming and giving you just a quick little thought of mine, okay? This is not going to be me giving you full detail and this is what happened. I'm not going to do all the research <laughs> that Forrest Rocks and Lady Nika and, you know, the rest of everybody else does. I'm not going to do that. I may start doing that eventually, but on this day I won't. So, <laughs> just disclaiming. Uh, Beyonce shared a super cute video from her skate night. That is so nice. So lovely. I didn't watch the video. Probably not gonna. Um, Fox News host Eric Balling suspended amid sexual harassment claims. I heard a little bit about this when I was riding in the car with my grandma yesterday because she likes uh, talk radio when it's an NPR. And they were discussing how he was sending uh, lewd text messages to the girls. Shouldn't be doing that. Um... Sheree Whitfield wants you to know she's not married to a felon, but they are close friends. Um, that is so lovely for Sheree, because um, I know the girls were really giving it to her. I didn't catch up on the story. I didn't watch anybody's videos during this time. I've been really in hibernation, but I know that they were probably making fun of that girl. Get Out is the most prof profitable movie of 2017 so far. That is wonderful for uh, Jordan Peele. <laughs> I couldn't think of his name for a second. I still haven't seen the movie. I wanted to go. I was waiting on a couple of the girls to come on, let's go to the movie. But anytime I wait on the girls to come on, let's go to the movie, they can't go. And then anytime the girls are waiting on me to come on, let's go to the movie, I can't go. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to put it all on the girls. It's the girls and me. <laughs> you know, all queens and me. Aaron Carter writes a letter to fans about his sexuality. She's bisexual. Okay. Um, I don't think anybody ever looked at Aaron Carter. Well, I don't think I. I should say I because I don't know about you girls. Actually, my demographic is a group of girls that probably don't even know a single Aaron Carter song. <laughs> Y'all that are watching probably don't even know who Aaron Carter is. You've heard the name because, you know, maybe a little sister, a little brother, you churn, uh lived for him back in 2000 when he, you know, did that song about how he beat Shaq. But nobody truly cares anything about who Aaron Carter is mixing genitals with. Nobody. Um, I don't know who his fans are that he wrote this letter to. But congratulations on feeling comfortable enough with yourself to have these giant tattoos up around your neck. Um, stripper kills a man who helped him change a flat tire. Why? There's probably no no answer to my why question, so we're just going to let that rock. Um, she's probably just crazy. Um, Beyonce hit up the roller ring for some Friday night fun. Congratulations. Why? Okay, listen to me. I am the first person that I ever knew that was a true Beyonce stand. Now, these young kids coming around talking about Beehive and cussing everybody out and shutting everything down when somebody says something crazy about Beyonce. I'm not the one. I've been a Beyonce fan since before a lot of these churn was born. I've been a Beyonce fan to the point where I've seen her very first movie. Her very first movie was not Gold uh, Member. Her very first movie was not Carmen, a hip hopper, a lesser known film. Her very first movie, I'm not going to tell the name because I know she don't want this out there, but I've seen it. It's, it's not a sex tape or anything like that, y'all, but... Um, it is uh, probably 50 times a lesser movie than Carmen the Hip Hop. I've seen it. And I used to watch it constantly for Beyonce. She's only in the movie probably five minutes in total. It's Beyonce, Kelly, a couple of the other, you know, girls. I think Latoya and Latavia are even in it. Like, they were still together at this time. So, for all of y'all who want to come in and say, you know, how dare you hate on Beyonce, this, that, and the other, that's not the case here, okay? Every Thanksgiving, I have a Beyonce documentary uh, concert marathon, and then I watch, you know, the Braxton Family Values. <laughs> that's my tradition. Been my tradition for many years. You know, I own her concerts. I, make my, I used to make my friends watch her concerts when I was probably eight years old. One of my god sisters sat on a magazine that had her face on it, and I flipped. I completely lost my mind. How dare you sit on Beyonce? So, I've been through... Now, I was eight years old when I went through. But I've been through what the girls are going through with all of this. Beyonce is just the greatest thing to ever, you know, touch the earth. I, she means the world to me. She is my everything. She is the only thing that matters. 
matters to me. Oh, baby, 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 baby. It's too early. I ain't warmed up, but you get, you get my gist. So, I'm saying all of this to let you girls know that no, I won't be playing the, you know, fight with a stand game today. I won't be. I won't be. Because I go way back with Beyonce and my obsession with Beyonce to the point where my family was like, girl, you know, this little six, seven, eight year old me, my family was like, sis, look, you got Beyonce is not just, she's not, she's, she's not, <laughs> you know, she's not the end all be all for you. She's not. And this was before and when her debut album came out. I went through this with my people. So I'm not going to play the stand, you know, wars with you girls because I'm too grown at this point. At this stage in my development, I'm too grown. I don't know why this car is parked in the middle of the street, but she needs to scoop. What are you doing? Why would you park and get out in the middle of the street? Now I'm about to miss my turn fooling with these niggas. I can't be bothered today. Anyway, um, so I'm not going to play these. <laughs> I've really done too much here. I'm not going to play these, you know, fighting with the stand games today. But I just honestly don't care that Beyonce went to the skating rink, uh, night for last. She wanted to go skating. That is so lovely. Why is that a story? Why are we telling everybody, oh, Beyonce, she went skating, that's so what? Like, it's nice, and I relish in the pictures. I see her, and I'm like, oh, she looks wonderful. But it's not a story, B. Scott. It's not. It's not. I know the girls want to know what's going on with Beyonce at all moments and all times, but it's just, she went to the skating rink. Okay. Let me scooch on. I've been on this for a while. Uh, Chris Brown's daughter, Royalty, is launching a clothing line. I haven't said much about Royalty, uh, out of my mouth <laughs> and I'm not gonna say much about her I haven't said much about Chris Brown out of my mouth you know I've got a lot of thoughts and feelings I'm, I, I won't be able to answer this call um, but I just you know it's so nice <laughs> that royalty is launching a clothing line um, Chris Brown looks like a wonderful father to her and that's just about all I can give the two of them that's it you know I, I, I have no interest in discussing anything uh, related to the Brown family because I just don't have the energy. <laughs> Jay-Z recreates friends with some of our black Hollywood faves for his Moonlight video. That's wonderful. Could have recreated a living single. But you know, however. Caitlyn Jenner apologizing for wearing a hat, wearing, wait, that Make America Great Again hat. You see how I just zoned out and just resumed my day because I don't care anything about Caitlyn Jenner. I don't. Congratulations to her for being a rich white woman. Um, but so she wore Make America Great Again hat and everybody got mad now she apologized. Okay. And she's going to do something else stupid tomorrow and apologize for it. Okay. Uh, Joyce Lynn Savage's family has reportedly hired an attorney to help, her get, help get her away from R. Kelly. Let me just give y'all a brief little tidbit of my opinion again on this um let me start by saying Joycelyn Savage um very 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 well may be my cousin <laughs> I think that's my cousin um I also think that she is of age um and has no known men mental handicaps that will allow the courts to say get her out of there I don't think that hiring a lawyer if she does not want to go is going to get her from R. Kelly's you know clutches I just don't think so they may be able to bring R. Kelly up on charges if they can prove that he's been grooming her since before she was of age or something like that but it's not looking you know solid for a case on to something else the Kardashian family reportedly thinks Caitlyn Jenner is a hypocrite from the support of Donald Trump Wow, so does everybody else. <sighs> Lil Duval says he almost drowned in a cave today. I don't, I'm really just not 100% sure what a Lil Duval is or what it does. I think it tells jokes, um, probably bad ones. I feel like that somebody's on, on Wild and Out. And, uh, you know, Wild and Out has a couple of actually funny girls, but the rest of them, I just can't. You know, like Emmanuel Hudson, he's funny. And then a lot of the folks that they bring on, you know, the guest stars, they're funny from time to time. Trina was funny. And I was just whatever um usher faces more herpes lawsuits from two women and a man where's the surprise where's the shock where is 
oh my god, I can't believe two women and a man. No, Usher, sh sh he's straight, surely. I can't be, I, I'm so, I'm so shocked to find out that Usher, with this little, you know, piece of blonde up here and giving you all these smooth dance moves and all of this, I can't be bothered to, to just imagine that this man could possibly be by saying, girl, we've been looking, okay, I'm not gonna say we, I'm gonna say me again. I've been looking at Usher literally all my life. The full duration of my 23 years on this earth, I've been watching Usher, or as he calls himself, Usher. Ursher has been giving you slick bisexual since the very beginning. The veriest beginning. Why are we shocked? Like, where, where's the surprise? Anyway, um, a sex toy company is inviting women to try $150 vibrators on the streets of New York. You see, New York, this is why don't nobody fool with you. <laughs> this is why people be like, uh-uh. Folks from the South be like, I can't go to New York. It's just, I can't be bothered with, they, you know, that Sin City up there. They doing too much, this, that, and the other. This is why New York. Now, I grew up between, you know, down here and up there. So I'm unbothered generally by all the foolery that comes with New York. You know, if I'm walking around down here and I see a 200-pound rat, I'm going to be shook. If I'm walking around up there and I see a 200-pound rat, I'm just going to dap it up and be like, all right, you got it, you know. Like, <laughs> if I'm in the subway and, you know, a gigantic, just, you know, boot Tim Wan rat walks by me, I'm just going to be like, let me make sure I got my bag so it won't get down in my things. <laughs> but, but as far as, you know, all the, New York is not a normal place is what I'm trying to say. It's not normal. They do strange things uh, marketing wise and just personally. Everybody's weird up there. And everybody, you know, they think the same thing about us, you know, down here. So I say us like I'm not half Yankee. You know, it's it's the same. It's not the same, but people have the same general feelings that, you know, that's just strange up there. And then, you know, the girls up there be like, that's just strange down there. What is sweet tea? We drink unsweet. You know, all of that. So Black China is making a music video and meeting with record, record labels after being inspired by Nicki Minaj. It took you seven years, almost eight years to be inspired by Nicki Minaj. You literally played Nicki Minaj in the Monster video. If that wasn't enough to inspire you, I don't understand what's inspiring you today. I don't get it. But that's just, you know, I don't know. Uh, watch singer Michael Kilgore joins Maxine Waters for a gospel remix of Reclaiming My Time on The View. I'm not going to watch that. <laughs> I live down boots for, um, for Maxine. You know, I love Maxine Waters and I love Crystal Waters. Those, those are my girls. But, um, all right, y'all going to get run over. But I'm not, I, 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 you know, the hype around reclaiming my time. It's cute. It's funny. I made a couple jokes the other day. I said I was reclaiming my check, and I meant that. Um, but we don't have to do no gospel remixes and all that. I, what is, girl, the internet loves to ruin things. Usher's wife, Grace Miguel, is in phase by his herpes scandal. That's because she already got it. She can't be shook because she, she's already gone through these emotions. She's gone through, she already found out he was sleeping with a bridesmaid, bridesmaid as uh, Nene say. She found that out, you know, a couple years back. She found out that she had her piece probably a couple years back. She probably found out around the same time. And they broke up quietly. And now they're back together and all this is coming out. And she's already cried her last tear yesterday. So, you know, she can't feel no kind of way today. Those are theories. I don't know if that's the actual truth or is she just, you know, crazy and, and you know, stupid. But whatever. Um, I don't feel like talking about that. ABC's live action Little Mermaid won't be happening. Okay. R. Kelly's cult ladies were reportedly offered breast implants. Now, R. Kelly, if you start offering reductions, I might, I might have to call you. Um, Viola Davis' husband lands a role on how to get away with murder. Did he land the role? Like, did he audition and, and, and you know, get the role? Or did he say, I'm married to Annalise Keating. Put me on the show, too. And then they put him on the show. I think that's... As someone who has been in the acting world, modeling world, music world, um, I just find it, I find it gross that people can get on TV shows and things like that just because they are related to or know somebody. Now I'm saying that because I haven't received a role because I'm related to or know somebody, but once I do, I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> but as of now, it's disgusting. And how dare the girls give these people roles when there are girls out here Bianca Brooks is acting and auditioning and doing her best to get on these shows, and then they just give roles to folks' husbands. Speaking of, go like, um, go, go, not like Jesus, vote for Bianca Brooks. I'm going to put her channel down there. I'm going to put the link down there. Y'all go vote for her to be the face of, uh, is it Luster's Pink Lotion or something? I don't know. 
anyway, I'm at work. I may resume this later, but that's all I got. Just a little extra credit for the girls. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things the YouTubers say. I'm going to slide on in here to work. I'm five minutes early. That is so nice. I'm going to need it, too, because I already know it's going to be a mess today. I'm working by myself all day, and but it's raining, so it may be slow. But in this particular city, when it rains, the girls feel like, oh, let me go outside in the rain and, and you know, be all over the place. I just can't do it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see y'all later. You know, I'll be in for claws because I'm not a quitter. I don't want to talk about it, but tomorrow or the next day, probably not tomorrow because I just don't do videos on my off day, I found. But if I find that I got something to do or somewhere to be, then I'll get y'all close tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, peace.